This will be an unboxing of the Intel Core i5 2310 socket LGA 1155 Sandy Bridge CPU Intel Core i5 processor visibly smart performance with a boost. You can see it in the top, it's got a little window. On the side just have the very general specifications for this, uh, something in this type of price point. Four cores, four way multitask processing, basically four threads. Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2.0. Intel HD Graphics 2000, Intel Smart Cache Technology, Integrated Memory Controller, uh, supports two-channel, dual-channel DDR3 memory, and a three-year limited warranty. In back we just basically have, this is a genuine Intel CPU, on the side we have greater specifications, 2.9 gigahertz, 6 megabytes of cache, LG 1155 95-watt TDP, the product code, the, the batch number. Other information about the CPU, and that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, uh, clean packaging. There's nothing. You know, there's a lot of black text in the back. No one's going to read that. It's basically got a compatibility warning. This processor requires motherboard socket 1155, and a specific chipset to utilize the integrated graphics or the processor unlocked features. Consult your motherboard manufacturer to verify compatibility. It is made in Malaysia. Just grab some. Scissors. And cut the factory seal. Okay. Inside we find environmentally friendly packaging with a, a stock a Intel cooler for 11.55. It basically hasn't changed since the days of Pentium 4. Got a copper slug in the middle with pre-applied thermal compound, basic uh, fin arrangement, and a small fan in the middle that connects via a four-pin GCP power connector. If you, you if you even if you're buying something like an i5 2310, which only has a 95 watt TDP or thermal design power, you should still buy an aftermarket CPU cooler just to ensure the longevity of, of the CPU. And then in here, I'll push that tag out, Oop. is the actual CPU, the thing that we all care about most. Now you're probably not going to be able to see that on camera, just because the camera won't focus and there'll be a bit of glare. But it says Intel Core i5-2310, uh, the issue number uh, 2.9 gigahertz, Malaysia, and then some various other codes. Take it out. Now this CPU does not have, it is not an unlocked processor, so you can, you are, you are restricted in uh, the uh, speed you can go. It is not a K-series processor. If you want a affordable quad-core CPU that you can overclock past its uh, stock turbo frequencies, then you should probably consider buying something like a, a Core i5 uh, 2500K. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you have the money to spend, you could go and buy a uh, Core i7 2600K, but for the, for the price it's, it's probably not worth it. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Intel Core i5 2310. Uh, quad-core processor uh, with visibly smart performance with a boost.